everybody, it's Julie. Welcome back to Row & Co Farms. If you're new, welcome to our channel. My name is Julie and we bring you two new videos every single week from our homestead um, about gardening, homesteading, flower farming, cooking, DIY, just anything that we're doing on our homestead here and we'd love for you to join us. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys about a project that we've been working on for the last couple of months. Um, but I haven't really brought any video about it because I was trying to kind of complete the entire project and then bring it to you. And I think it's just gonna be too big of a video to do that. So I'm gonna break it up into a few different parts. Um, and so the, the main gist is that we're renovating a space inside our barn uh, to function as part of the flower farm operation that we've been putting together. And so um, we're building a walk-in cooler and we're also building um, or finishing out a space for me to work in to put together bouquets and all those kinds of things um, related to the flower farm as far as after the flowers are cut um, and then getting those bouquets and stuff put together or prepared for florists. So we've been working really hard on cleaning out this area and um, putting everything together. And so I just thought I'd bring you some of the progress of that. And I think I'll probably break it up into maybe probably maybe three videos, I think is what it's gonna end up being by the time it's all said and done. So I figured um, in this video, I'd show you how much we've done so far. Um, we have cleaned out the space for the most part. Um, our barn is pretty full, so we've been working through uh, getting things cleared out and moved where it needs to go and reorganized. Um, but we've started painting. Um, the construction is underway on the walk-in cooler. We've gotten most of the walls studded up. Uh, we're waiting on the electrician to come and help us finish out a couple of things and the plumber too because we're going to have a sink installed into the space uh, so that I'll have a place to, you know, bring water in and out and dump buckets and things like that. So that's going to be really, really beneficial. So I'll show you what we've done so far. Come on. Hey guys, it's Julie. Welcome back to Rowan Co. Farms. So I'm gonna be starting a project today that's probably gonna take me several weeks, months to complete. Um, and then that is renovating the inside of our barn in here to create a workspace for the flower farm, a place to keep a couple coolers and a workstation to create bouquets and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna show you like what space I'm working with. And it's kind of embarrassing because this place is a disaster. It's just been a like overflow storage for the last five years and we're going to turn it into hopefully a really cool space to work. <laughs> so let me turn you around here and I'll show you uh, what the space looks like now. So this is our barn and as you can see it is full of junk. <laughs> I say it's junk, it's all stuff that we actually do use but it all needs to be organized and moved around you can see we have like these big lofts up top so i am going to be moving some stuff up there have you know lofts on the other side as well so the idea will be that this whole space all the way here and then maybe even over here into this side will all become work area. I'm going to start with over here, but I'm definitely going to be cleaning out everything. I'm pro I may not actually do any like painting or anything over here, but I do plan on painting out this whole area to make it look nice. I'm probably going to paint it white and then maybe do some kind of mural or something on the end. My daughter wants to do that, but this is the before. So hopefully what I'll do is put in, and you can see literally this is a disaster in here. I will put in down here on this end, hopefully a couple of like refrigerators. I'm gonna try to find just some old refrigerators that are kind of scrap, but still work. Those garage style refrigerators, those, I'm gonna put those in. And then this whole wall, I wanna have like work benches set up. And then maybe even in the center, a couple of like workstations as well. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm, but I do have a lot of space. I mean, this is at least, I'd say 20 to 25 feet long and then maybe 10 feet across. 
if you're just counting that, like that section, and then, you know, if you go all the way over, then there's even more. Um, now down on the end, there's like a few stalls down there and those already contain other things. Two of them are for animals if they need it. And then one is like tools and one is all our beekeeping stuff. So I'm going to start cleaning stuff out of here. Like I say, it'll probably take me a few weeks and I know where some of it has places to go and some of it doesn't, some of it's going in the trash. So we'll just uh, kind of start messing around with it and I'll let you guys follow along as we do it. supplies that we used when we were doing the remodel of our house and I think there's gonna be enough stuff in there for me to um, put in some different lighting options in this workspace I have leftover paint and there's a possibility that down here on the end let me see if I can let me show you better okay so down here on the end where I was saying that I was gonna put in a couple of refrigerators. My husband is now um, saying that we can, and we have probably all the materials already to do it. We're gonna build out a wall here and here, and we're gonna make this into a walk-in cooler for the flowers. I'm so lucky, <laughs> I'm so excited too. My husband is in the heat and air business, and so, we have the ability and we have some equipment um, actually left over that we didn't use on one project that we will be able to use in here. We have sheetrock, we have insulation, we have pretty much every single thing we need to build a walk-in cooler. I don't know how that ended up happening, but it did. And so we're gonna take one weekend, hopefully over the next six to eight weeks, and build out the walk-in cooler. We will be putting in a window unit for the first year. We actually do have a mini split system, so we could actually mount a mini split in here as well if we wanted to do that, but we're gonna start as a trial run the first year with just a window unit that will go in here. Everything will be super insulated and then it will be able to cool that small space off enough for me to put buckets of flowers in there and them stay fresh before I take them to the market. So I'm really excited about that. I've made a little bit of progress. I've been moving furniture. My daughter and I tried to move the table. It's just too heavy. So waiting for husband or son or someone to come home to help us move that. So anyway, in the meantime, I got to do something with all this construction equipment. I'm sure I'll need a good bit of it, so I don't really want to take it up into the loft yet. So I may just kind of move it further down and out of the way, so that way we'll be able to pull from it when we start doing some of this build out in here. Because I definitely want, we have two bare bulbs up there, and I want to have some good lights. Uh, this is going to be kind of a studio space you know, where I'll put bouquets together, but I'll also probably be shooting video and the lighting in here is pretty terrible. So, all right, I'm gonna get back to it. So we were finally able to start painting today. It's the day after Christmas. Uh, it's been over a month since we've done any work in this space at all. So I'm really glad to be getting back after it after the holidays. Uh, my husband took some time off, so he's gonna be helping me uh, get some of this stuff knocked out for the next few weeks.
walk-in cooler is going to be going down here on this end. Uh, we're going to kind of work within the parameters of the framework that's already here. So we're going to kind of be building a wall right in here. There'll be a door here. And then we'll be insulating this entire thing with these big, thick foam boards. Uh, we'll be using four inches of that and then adding plywood and stuff all around the outside. So we'll be starting up with just framing up the walls. Um, so that's the first thing that you'll see my husband and myself doing. painting the ceiling right now and I'm using a black paint and I know I'm going to get some questions about why I'm using black versus white and after painting the walls and it taking so many coats to get them covered I realized that I did not want to do that on the ceiling so the black is covering in one coat and that is going to save my neck and back so much pain and trouble and it's going to save me a lot of money on paint. second wall over there is framed up and then if I look up here you can see that I've started painting the ceilings I've stained all the beams and I've got three coats on this far wall and I've gotten two coats onto this wall
so as we're wrapping up progress on part one of this video, I hope you guys join us for the next couple of parts as we finish up these renovations for the flower farm. I'm really, really excited to get them done and to show you guys the progress that we make. Join us for part two. See you next time here at Rowan Co. Farms.